My name is Tamika Newton. I am a primary school teacher at St. Paul's and I teach the reception class. My journey to becoming a teacher is a very inspiring one. Um, I attended the Florence Spring Memorial School and on graduation I left there with no CXCs. Um, through my journey, I wanted to do better in my life and I managed to do some CXCs which would have led me years after to complete my bachelor's degree in education at UE. And then I would have moved on to become a teacher in 2019. So it's basically three years that I have been teaching. It was the most enjoyable time of my life um, becoming a teacher. It was like I achieving the greatest goal that I ever had. And I wanted to help other people to make it against the odds. And that's the name of my first charity, um, the Made It Against the Odds Foundation. So we focus on helping other people to make it against the odds. No matter race, class, creed, whatever. We just help. Um, in terms of the second charity, which is Carnot Chatter, which is the youngest of the two, um, really started for me becoming a survivor of domestic violence. Um, I am a champion for building the student's confidence. I like to encourage them and when a child feels good, you can get the best out of them. I had a lot of memorable moments with a child. He was trying to write some letters or his name. And I remember when he brought the paper to me, he just had a lot of little dibbles and dabbles all over the place. And I said, good job, but we can try to get the letters. And I remember when he brought back the paper and I saw his name on the on the paper. I just jumped and screamed and I went straight to my mentor, Miss Barker. It's Miss Barker, look, look, look Miss Barker, look. She said, oh, it's a look. She actually started to write. I was so excited. <laughs> Recall. Yes, I just want to take this opportunity to really congratulate you for all the work that you've been doing. Oh, you want me to cry? With all the initiatives that you will have to give back to communities and also to help children as well within primary, secondary school, within the communities and all, and, and as well, to indeed be successful in the future. Congratulations. Thank you very, very much. My advice to other educators would be to think outside the syllabus. Don't see it as a job, but more see it as a, as a passion, and talk to the other teachers at school. You know, agree to disagree, ask for questions. Don't think that you know everything. Just ask, research, and just do your best.